There are many stories of gunfights on the Texas frontier, many of which were triggered by disputes over property, including Texas cattle, land, or money. In Fort Worth, a section of the city called Hell's Half Acre was subject of dispute over the city's reputation. Some businesses within this section of the city were reputable and profitable, unfortunately due to the customers of businesses of ill repute. Ladies of the evening, saloon, and gambling establishments within the red light district brought income to the city. However, two major turning points brought on a reform campaign in the late 1880s by then-Mayor H.S. Broyles and County Attorney R.L. Carlock. The first of these occurred on February 8, 1887, when gambler Luke Short and City Marshal Timothy Longhair Jim Courtright had a shootout on Main Street that left Courtright dead. A few weeks later, a prostitute known only by the name of Sally was found murdered and nailed to an outhouse door in the acre. These two events, combined with the first Prohibition campaign in Texas, helped to shut down the acre's worst businesses in 1889. On January 28, 1891, Fine Gilliland shot and killed Fort Davis cattleman Henry Harrison Powell during a roundup in Brewster County. Gilliland became embroiled in a dispute with Powell over an unbranded bridal yearling steer found without its mother. Powell believed that the steer belonged to a cow with his HHP brand, but Gilliland disagreed and a gunfight ensued. Gilliland killed Powell and fled on horseback, but was himself killed a few days later in a shootout with two Texas Rangers. Meanwhile, the Cowboys branded murder on one side of the yearling in January 28, 91 on the other. For years, there were sightings of the murder steer, and it became a thing of legend. Ghost stories were told that if you saw the murder steer or its ghost, it meant that someone would die. Others claim the murder steer shows up whenever there is foul play. The incident also inspired an episode of the television series Rawhide and a ballad by Canadian folk singer Ian Tyson. Originally called Burleson after John Burleson purchased 1,280 acres of land, the county of Lampasas was established in 1856. The town was incorporated in 1883. The seven mineral springs surrounding the town brought many settlers to the area. The Sam Harrell family came to the area from Arkansas. They lived a short time in Lampasas and then moved to Lincoln County, New Mexico. John Harrell was killed by Early Hubbard after a dispute regarding salary owed to him on January 7, 1869 in New Mexico. Also in 1869, the elder Sam was killed by raiding Apache Indians in St. Augustine Pass. The brothers and John's wife Sally fought off the Indians with six shooters and rifles until they could escape heading east. Ben Harrell was shot nine times by lawmen after his gang was caught shooting up a brothel and after the killing of a constable by Dave Warner in December 1873. The Harrell brothers retaliated by killing some 13 Hispanic citizens in what has become known as the Harrell War of Lincoln County. Back in Texas, brothers Sam, Tom, Mart, Merritt, and their gang were continuously getting themselves into trouble. Accounts of them shooting their guns off in the wild frontier town and causing obnoxious amounts of trouble after a night of drinking was too much for some. A plea was made to Governor Davis who enacted a law to prohibit the carrying of sidearms in Lampasas. John Calhoun Pickney Pink Higgins was born in Georgia in 1848 but moved with his family to Texas when he was just a boy. When he grew up, he worked in various occupations, including owning a meat market and saloon. The Higgins and Harrell's families lived on adjoining properties and got along well until a shootout in a Lampasas saloon between the Harrell brothers and state police resulted in the death of Pink Higgins' son-in-law. Pink then accused Merritt Harrell of stealing one of his calves. Merritt was found not guilty, but on January 22, 1877, Pink shot and killed Merritt in the Gem Saloon. Mart, badly wounded in the fight, was confined to jail in Georgetown. When he was well enough, the brothers broke him out of jail. Several other incidents occurred between the two gangs, culminating in a shootout on the square in Lampasas. 
Pink Higgins, along with Bob Mitchell, Bill Wren, and Pink's brother-in-law, Ben Terry, rode into Lampasas and confronted the Harrells and their friends. When the smoke cleared, Bob Mitchell's brother was dead. Two others with the Harrell gang, Buck Waltrip and Carson Graham, were also dead. Texas Rangers were brought in to keep the peace. Major John B. Jones ambushed the Harrell brothers in an early morning raid and after their surrender, encouraged them to call a truce between the two gangs. Published in the Austin Democrat Statesman on August 16, 1877, the Harrell brothers issued the following statement to the Higgins gang. Gentlemen, from this standpoint, looking back over the past with its terrible experiences, both to ourselves and to you, and to the suffering which has been entailed upon both our families and our friends by the quarrel in which we have been involved with this repeated fatal consequences and looking to a termination of the same and a peaceful, honorable, and happy adjustment of our difficulties which shall leave both ourselves and you all of our respect and sense of unimpaired honor. We have determined to take initiatory in a move for re reconciliation. Therefore, we present this paper in which we hold ourselves in honor bound to lay down our arms and to end this strife in which we have been engaged against you and to exert our utmost efforts to entirely eradicate all enmity from the minds of our friends who have taken sides with us in the feud herein before alluded to. And we promise furthermore to abstain from insulting or injuring you and your friends to bury the bitter past forever and join with you as good citizens in undoing the evil which has resulted from our quarrel, and to have nothing undone which we can effect to bring about the complete consummation of the purpose to which we have herein committed ourselves, provided that you shall, on your part, take upon yourselves a similar obligation as respects to our friends and us, and shall address a paper to us with your signatures thereon, such as a paper as this, which we freely offer you hoping that this may bring about the happy result which it aims at, we remain yours respectfully. Despite the feud being officially over, Tom and Mart Harrell were arrested on the suspicion of robbing and killing a store owner in Bosque County. They were placed in the Meridian Jail. On December 15, 1878, an angry mob stormed the jail and shot Tom and Mart to death. Martha Ann, Thomas's wife, drove the wagon from Lampasas to Meridian, Texas, to pick up the bodies of Tom and Mark and brought them back to the Oak Hill Cemetery in Lampasas. They were buried together in one grave. Pink Higgins went on to become a Texas range detective for the Spur Ranch just east of Lubbock and died of a heart attack in 1914. Sam Harrell, the only surviving brother, moved west with his family and died in California in 1936.